The Collection Log. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we started off getting 5 new uniques from Hard Clues before going dry at Chambers of Zeric for the first time to get rewarded with the Dexterous Prayer Scroll. A quick Master Clue unique and the final Hydra unique later. We have now arrived at the Theater of Blood as today we will go for the first purple from TOB as our first task. Now I'd like to share with you all that there's something more exciting than the first purple from TOB. Because Manscaped, who just so happens to be the sponsor of this episode, is now selling beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The Beard Hedger is a cordless trimmer that has a rotary wheel with 20 different haircutting lengths you can switch between, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. With its titanium coat the T-blade, it's tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke at a time. Makes it not only efficient but relatable too. The trimmer also comes with the beard shampoo and conditioner, Manscaped's beard oil and the beard balm. On top of that you get three free gifts in the form of a beard brush, comb and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. To get all of that with 20% off and free shipping, go to manscaped.com right now and use the code 20tedious on checkout. Big thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video, now let's go get that TOB unique. Okay, we're ready to take on the Theater of Blood for the first time. We've got some big gamers lined up and then there's me. An absolute pleb that's about to get carried but i'll just get a one kc purple and then we can move on easy guys easy that's made and taken care of very smooth bloat completed i didn't die but someone else did so that means i'm doing better kind of easy i don't know why this is end game content look at me pulling my weight 24.8 percent on the final boss just saying no, this is the fastest TOB run ever. We are breaking the world record on our first attempt. Dude, two of my team just died on the last phase of Zarpas. Who are these people, man? Huh? No! What the fuck? What, what hit me for 52? What happened? I don't even know what happened. No! <laughs> It's okay, my team's got this, and we'll just secure the purple, okay? Oh no, wait, imposter died as well, now it's up to Valum and any fee- uh-oh. Alright, we did it, let's go! My team is decent. Look at that, one theater of blood kill count. Let's grab ourselves that purple real quick and be done with it. Doesn't look very purple to me. Unlucky. Am I the MVP? I guess not. I guess I'm not MVP. Probably close though. Any females, the only one to not die at all. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Blood runes. We'll take it. Let's go. I I thanked the entire Verzik fight. Wait, that is a purple, but it's not mine. Oh my god, no way. 2kc and we see the first purple? Just to share chess guard for any females. I got 820k coins of reward. That's pretty good. 50 rune or Renars. Holy sh- Wait! Master combat task. Two down. Let's go. Good job everyone for staying. Oh my god. Dude, how much rune ore am I getting? 800k again. I can't move. We are stuck. Wait, Ice Caves just got another ancient relic. He got one like 20 minutes ago as well. <laughs> no! No, Tyrone, you had one job. The Zarpa's wife. Oh God. Vials of blood, 777K. Only one death. If it wasn't for imposter dying to Zarpa's again, I, I bet it would have been a purple. One mil? Holy shit, vials of blood are worth a lot. Jesus Christ. Eight raids done in one go. No perps on the first. Wait, oh yeah, Tyrone died at the start of Verzik. See, always someone dying. At least it wasn't me the last two raids, so uh, that's pretty decent. We're getting somewhere. And again, a lot of vials of blood. One mil loot again. We carried Hunter through the raid. He died at Verzik. And unfortunately, we don't get rewarded for that. But again, another one mil loot. I just keep getting a bunch of vials of blood. And it's one mil every single time. 
the bank value is skyrocketing. All right, 10kc. What is this? Irid, Cadentine, and Swamp Tar. Not the greatest. Ooh, an elite clue. I guess we'll take that one. That looks clean. 90 Renars. That's pretty nice. This hunter guy is just ragging me. <laughs> this man right here. Please give me a purple. Set me free. I'm tired of the OP. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of vials. 1.6 mil? Jesus Christ. This is the one. I feel it. TOB number 20. We have yet to see our second purple. So this will be the one. Here it is. They are all running away. Okay, it's not a purple. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, elite clue. Number two. Perfect bloat the first time in 22 raids. Let's go. Master combat task. <laughs> I guess no one got hit by anything then. Oh my god, wait. I just got two combat achievements. Theater of Blood Veteran? Oh, that's 25kc. And then Master Combat Task. Pop it. And also, Alex just got the Dragon Limbs after literally, I think, a few kills. Because he just started going for those. Do we get a purple? No, it doesn't look like it. The clutch. The two-man clutch for the purple. I'm the only one... I'm the only one that did not die this raid. Oh my god, it's a first. <laughs> Still not MVP, but hey. If this is a purple, this has to be mine. I'm just gonna say it. It has to be. And it's not a purple, of course. But let me just take a look at the deaths real quick, okay? Let me, let me just have a little gander here. Look at this, right? Read strategy table. Hmm, what's on here? One tense fang, 200, two sumtex, zero generate task. I'm just saying. Wait, wait, did I glance over it? I'm actually MVP! Oh my god, I am MVP with a tent and a team with three sides. <laughs> Rate number 30, zero deaths equals purple chest. Oh! Oh! It's my purple! It's my purple! It's my purple! Let's go! 30 raids, we got a purple! Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. This is it. The first purple from Theater of Blood. Is it the Averdic? Is it the sign? Is it gonna be a justy piece? It's the Sanguine ST stuff, baby! Oh my god, we have a sag. Let's fucking go. <laughs> nice. That is so sick. That is so good, man. Holy shit. We can move on. That does mean that I'm gonna do more TOB if I do get another raid task, because I want to do this until I get the Avernic, but that is a nice reward for 30 runs. That was not too bad in the end, even though we had to carry some guys every now and then in these raids, you know. It took about five days of TOB to get our first purple, so I'm happy with that. That's a good outcome. We can move on. 74% elite. There's four more raid tasks, so about a 10% chance at this point to get a back-to-back. -back. Let's see if we have to do more TOB. No! We can open elite caskets. This is gonna be the fastest task ever. I have 28 caskets in the bank or something like that. So we're just quickly gonna grab a unique and move on to the next task. So as far as the Sanguinisti stuff goes, I literally only have 5,000 bloods in the bank in total, you know, using the, well, counting the ones in my rune pouch. So I'll probably have to spend a lot of money if I want to use that Sanguinisti, but we'll see if I get to that point anytime soon. First, let's do this master clue that I have in the bank so that we can also get more master clues from the elite caskets we are about to open. So let's turn this one into a casket and then let's see what we get from these 28 elite caskets. There's no way I'm gonna need to open all of them. Them for one unique. We got the master caskets, now we can open more elites just in case we get that master clue again. But we'll probably just get a new elite clue unique on the first casket. Let me just remind you, this is the very last elite clue unique we have to get in the elite tier. And we're also very close to 100 opened in total and we still don't have a single duplicate. So let's see if we do get our first duplicate now. <laughs> Never mind, we're done. 27 caskets left. We'll open those when we need to get some Master Clue Uniques. Easy as that. Beautiful. Black DI body trimmed. Very boring unique, but we'll take it. The quick detour has been completed. And we have another Elite Clue Unique. And we're done with Elite Clues for now. We'll open the rest of those caskets on the next Master Clue. Oh! I forgot about that. Look at that. A new color. Look at that light green elite tier, ladies and gentlemen, the final quarter of the final tier of the series. 
Let's see what we start the last 25% with. Here we go. Next task. A Shades of Morton unique. Let me, <laughs> let me remind you, I still have some gold keys in the bank. Could be very quickly done here. Let's see if we get another unique instantly. So we have 22 gold keys ready to be used. As a reminder, we're needing either the gold locks, which is 1 in 60 approximately, or one of the two remaining zealot pieces, 1 in 128. There is a, you know, slight chance that we'll get one of those. If we don't, I kind of want to get 95 fire making, because then, then I can use the redwood pyre locks, which we do have the woodcutting level for now to get redwood locks. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. So I might be doing some winter tot to get that 95 fire making for the redwood pyre logs. But first, let's see if we get lucky. Do we get lucky again? So far on the previous two zealot pieces, we got super lucky. So I don't think we're gonna get anything with these 22 keys, but let's find out. Amulet of the Damned on the first one. It's not looking good, final key, and that is nothing right there. So it looks like we need to actually get more keys. And that means I wanna get 95 fire making right now to get redwood pyre logs. 90 fire making on generate task, this is huge. For when we get back to Guardians of the Rift, we can also use the Redwood Logs on our Lantern now. Now it's just cooking left to have almost everything 90, because I forgot about mining as well, never mind. <laughs> 91. Ooh, 92 fire making, wow. 93 fire making. 94 fire making! And there we have it, 95 fire making has been achieved and we can now use redwood pyre logs and we have like 150 crates to open. So let's see, if we get lucky we might get the phoenix, if we get very unlucky we might get the dragon X on the wrong account which would be the worst thing ever. <laughs> so let's hope we don't get a dragon X, let's see if we can get the pet. Here we go. No Dragon X, please. <laughs> a Tome of Fire dupe. Huh, what do you know? And the Bruma Torch. Okay, the last five crates. No Dragon X for us. Good. Also no pet, but that's fine. All right, just chopped an inventory of Redwood Logs. And we now have, well, basically two inventories, which is good enough to get us to the drop rate. We'll get some more logs from the keys as well, probably. So... Let's go turn some uh, olive oil into sacred oil so we can make some redwood pyre logs for the first time. All right, time to collect these uh, urium shade remains for the first time. We've got the redwood pyre logs at the ready. It's time to collect some gold keys. All right, here's the result so far. 22 gold key crimson and then 21 others. So let's use these first. See if we get the unique. Here we go. Last key of this inventory and no luck just yet. Do we need to chop more redwoods or are we done with this inventory? Oh, hey, we got the gold logs there. They are beautiful. We're done. Ooh. Let's go and change the silver coffin straight away. We still have 10 keys remaining. So 10 more chances straight away on the next unique task for Shades of Morton. Locks, gold. Good, nice. We have the gold coffin now. Look at that, beautiful. A quick little task. Well, I mean, actually completing the task didn't take long. Getting the fire making levels took a few days, but we are done with that. And now we can always make more redwood pyre logs, which is amazing. We still have two more zealot pieces to get. So two more Shades of Morton tasks in the elite tier. Next task is the Karamja Elite Diary. Fuck. I need to get like six room crafting levels now, which is honestly not that bad. Because I will be doing Guardians of the Rift for that. And that also means I will make some solid progress towards that final Guardians of the Rift task in the Elite tier. Alright, before we embark on the big runecrafting grind, let's get our Calquat growing so that one will be ready. Let's also make the Anti-Venom Potion so then we only have the runecrafting grind left for this diary. Here we go, we've arrived in the Horseshoe Mine. Let's make the first Anti-Venom on the account. There it is. And now it's time to get six room crafting levels. I might have to craft some bloods as well so I can actually use that sanguinisty staff of mine. But we're going to start with some Guardians of the Rift first. All right, so now I also have the fire making level to make the Redwood Lantern. It's slightly worse than the U Lantern when it comes to points, but this way my pouches won't degrade. Plus I get some extra runes as well. It's a nice quality of life. 
Okay, so I had two blue die and a green die. I exchanged them all for red die, so I can now recolor my full outfit. Full red robes with the red amulet. Oh my god. That looks beautiful with the lantern as well. Why don't they recolor this thing at the top of the hat? Why don't they make that red as well? The first room crafting level of many. Well, five more after this, but there's 81. 82 room crafting. Four levels to go. The mind-numbing grind continues. We're at 83 rune crafting, just two levels away now from being able to make the colossal pouch. Already up to 260 searches as well, which we won't do right after this. We'll keep those until we eventually get that final Gardens of the Rift task. But it's getting up there. Another game comes to an end, and that is 84 rune crafting already now. Around 400 loot rolls. Okay, I'm gonna say something completely outrageous that not a single person will agree with, but I miss aerial fishing. I enjoyed aerial fishing a lot more than doing this. My mental is being tested right now, but we reached 85 room crafting, which not only means that we're just one level away from being able to complete the elite Karamja diary, we can now also finally make the colossal pouch. Let's grab the needle out of the bank. The Abyssal Needle that we've had in the bank for ages now is finally being put to use. We can use that on any of these pouches and that will combine them into one big pouch. And there it is, Colossal Pouch, which can store 40 essence in one item slot. Beautiful. One more level to go. Just about... Eight hours or so left of Guardians of the Rift and we will be done for now. We're also up to 560 searches now, so that is stacking up very nicely as well. Oh my god! So I've been doing this without really checking my bank and I just opened my bank for the first time to make this pouch. Look at these runes I've made! These were both at zero, I'm pretty sure, and I have 16.5k bloods and deaths just from training. Plus I'm gonna get so much more from this loot as well once I get that Guardians of the Rift task. That is actually amazing for the Sang stuff we have now. And we are also at 400 total rifts closed now. I'm honestly not sure at what amount I started, but I've definitely done a lot of Guardians of the Rift kills so far on this grind, and we are halfway through the final level. Figured I should probably check up on my Kalkwa to make sure it didn't die halfway through. And also, why are there four Brudu victims here? The, the entire place is filled with them. Anyways, let's check the health on the Kalkwa tree. And that is the second to last elite task on the Karamja diary done. And we get a Hespori seed as well. Now, let's just finish this final runecrafting level. I got the level! <laughs> I, I didn't realize I was gonna get it before the end of the kill. But there's 86 runecrafting and we are done with this grind. Let's finish the kill real quick, and that is going to be 420 total rifts closed now, and we have 737 loot rolls, which we are not going to loot, because we are going to wait until we get that Guardians of the Rift task to do that, but we'll make some solid progress towards that one once we do. And now it's time for the plus 5 runecrafting boost. Let's hope that it doesn't take too long. Also, look at this. I have 20,000 bloods and deaths just from crafting. So once we do all the looting, we'll have so many more as well. Okay, we got six orange spies, four, which means we have eight chances at the boost. So let's give it a go. Let's see if we can finish the task right here, right now. All right, here we are. Let's see how this goes. We have the full outfit on, by the way. So once we do get the 91 rune crafting, we don't need the 28 essence because you get a 60% boost in runes. So we'll be good on that. And let's see if we can get it with these eight boosts. Ugh, so close, yet so far. Back to the drawing board we go. Eight more chances. Minus five. Minus five again! <laughs> no, no, no. No! Oh! Uh, we did it! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Elite tasks in the Karamja area completed. Jesus Christ, three times a minus or plus five and eight boost. That's pretty crazy. But we did it! That was the final task, and let's go claim the reward. Beautiful. We are done with the grind. Here we go, let's talk to Pirate Jackie the Fruit. I have completed my achievement diary. There it is! And we now have Karamja Gloves 4. We'll get double tuckle from the Fight Cave, Inferno and the Challenges. 
We have a chance at double tickets, which is completely useless because we've already completed this. We can resurrect in the fight cave once a day. Use shortcuts. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Cool. And we have a lamp. Lovely. Let's use that. Herblor XP. Beautiful. 50,000 right there. And we can now teleport to Duradol, which is probably the nicest thing about this. So <laughs> that's pretty nice. That is seven elite diaries completed now with just five left. Let's see if we have to do any more of those. Finally decided to pick up that Slayer Cape while I was here and it looks very nice with this outfit to be honest. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get that new task. Took us about a week to do that room crafting grind, but we are free from Guardians of the Rift for now at least. Because if we get the Guardians of the Rift unique task now, we can go and loot all the rewards we have. But then if we don't get the Lost Bag, we'll have to do another week of room crafting to get that Guardian's Eye most likely. So let's hope we don't get that one. Oh, it's back to God Wars Dungeon again to finish another one of the bosses, which means I'll probably be going for the Ceredomen Hilt now to complete Ziliana. So let's go for that one. Okay, I just put together some setup. I don't know how this will go, but we're gonna put the Tebow to the test once more this time around at Ziliana. We're just gonna get the KC. I'm gonna be able to bank it next because I'm bringing the Ancient Bracers, so that should be good. We'll see how it goes. This is the log we're starting with right now. 410 Commander Ziliana KC is when we got that ACB. So uh, let's see if we go drive for that hilt or if we can finish another God Wars Dungeon boss early. That's gonna be the end of the first trip with the Twisted Bow. Pretty chill, not gonna lie. Twisted Bow kind of does pop off, even with the rune arrows. But we got an elite clue, so I guess I'll go and do that. I was planning to go and bank it next, but it is what it is. We got a clue, we should probably do it. 26kc so far on this task. Massive moves for the account here. Something I've been putting up for... I mean, longer than a year. I don't know how long. But I got the salt for both this fire and the one at God Wars Dungeon. Even though I haven't really done any farm runs in a while, I was walking past this to get the salt for the God Wars Dungeon one. So I figured I may as well. So there's that one. Let's also go make the God Wars Dungeon fire. Built the fire pit. This guy just died at next. Look at him run. We did it. The icy storm is gone. And now we can just walk, well, run in without getting our stats lowered beautiful but first i need to get some more tabs because i basically don't have any bones to peaches left so let's go do that and then we can continue with silly second trip done another elite clue i hope i don't keep getting these because i kind of want to bank it next but the game doesn't allow me to because i just need to keep completing elite clues so we'll just go and do this one again we're at 57 kc in total now uh on the task and 467 in general it's happening again! <laughs> the Seralites are back. There's the first one after 60, 68 kills on the task. Oh no, oh my god, dude. I saw the pink light, I got excited. It's a duplicate orbital crossbow, no freaking way. <laughs> I guess bank value. What a trip so far. That's the wrong item. What is this trip? Oh my god, we got it. <laughs> wow. Holy shit! Dude, that is insane! What the hell? Get out of here! Oh my god. <laughs> 492 KC, we finished another God Wars dungeon room. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is insane. What was that? That was less than 30 kills in that trip for a duplicate ACB, Sarah Light, Dragon Metal, Dragon Stone, Sarah Hilt. Wow. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Less than 500 KC. Only one more unique left from the basic God Wars dungeon rooms, and that is the Staff of the Dead from Krill to Tseroth. Before we move on to next, we only have 156 kills at Krill, so this one, the Staff of the Dead, that one could take very, very long. And I hope we get some other tasks before that, because I don't really want to grind for this one just yet. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. But there's the Sarah Hill. Let's make the God Sword. All right, let's take it off of one of my AGSs and put it on this one. Sarah God Sword obtained. Look at that, so nice. Now we have the Bandos, Zemi, and Armadil God Sword and Sarah God Sword. We have the full set. Look at that. Oh my God, Rune Shark would be proud right now. <laughs> Looking beautiful. On to the next task. 
Every time I get a task like this, I never really expect to complete it within like the next day, but then it just happens and I'm happy and we can just zoom through the elite here and be done in no time. So let's just zoom on to the next task, which is the Mauritania Elite Diary. Another diary. I don't even know what I have to get for this one or if I have to get anything at all. This might be very quick as well because I really don't know if I'm missing much for this one. Next time, we'll get one more step closer to the Achievement Diary Cape. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Generate Task. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you all soon in the next video, and until then, have a good one, and take care.